The main message of the presentation is that the media, uh, sometimes at the behest of scientists or academia, tend to exaggerate and hype scientific results. And it seems that getting attention, whether it's for grant funding or for eyeballs for the media, uh, causes media outlets to say things that are sensational and not really based in reality. And that drives a lot of the conversations that we see in the media. And do you also think there's a fair share of honest science and proper science media? For sure. I think that there are some outlets that I do trust. Uh, the Economist is fantastic. In fact, full disclosure, I used to write for them. Uh, I think that uh, the BBC, for the most part, does a good job. I think there are a few American outlets that try. Uh, but overall, I find that it's a handful of the dozens and dozens of outlets that are out there. I think most are about getting eyeballs onto their websites and are less interested in getting information accurately. And so be very selective about what you believe. Because it affects everybody. Everybody drinks or most people drink. And so anything that affects millions of people is something that is going to get a lot of attention. They want stories to go viral. And if it's accurate, great. If it's not, who cares? They just want to get people to reading their stories. If you want to have a glass a day, be my guest. But if you don't want to drink, that's fine. But be sure that you limit your intake to one to two a day. Other than that, you're flirting with some health risks.